Okay guys, so today I want to show you my prosthetic arm. Uh, this is an Autumn Bach Michelangelo. I've had it for about six years now. All right, um, it's all custom painted. I had a tattoo studio, custom airbrush it, and then he clear coated it with uh, automotive clear coat. So I wash and wax it just like a car. All right, uh, it's held up pretty well over the years. Let's see it. It's all nice and glossy still and it's in good shape. So I use the black glove. I feel it goes good with the overall theme of the arm. Uh, this is a two channel system. So basically uh, I have one electrode right here and I have another electrode underneath right here. Okay. This electrode closes the hand and this side obviously opens it. All right, I'll show you that right now. So this has two programs or two grip patterns. This is lateral mode. See it closes up against the index finger and just like that opens and closes. And now if I flex both of my muscles, the open and the close signal, it changes the mode for the thumb. The thumb moves over and now you're in a opposition grip pattern they call it. Try to move around a little bit on this. So now that's basically you a good pinch pitch. It's not as high tech looking as a lot of the other hands out there, but it's truly what's inside that counts on this hand. Uh, the software within the hand really is in tune with you. So basically, it's really hard to describe. Uh, the sand can move very slowly. You know, I'll try to demonstrate that. You can move this hand very slow. That's, that's relaxed. It's really hard to pick up on camera, but you can see how that moves pretty slowly. And some of the other hands I've used without mentioning different products because I'm not here to bash any products. Each product that's out there is good for somebody and that's what I'm all about. To each his own. What works for me may not work for you and what works for you may not be good for me at all. So I never bad enough products. So uh, <clears throat> sand just works for me. I like how it is just so in tune with my mind. You can move it very slowly and like I said other hands they couldn't even basically interpret these uh, very fine muscle movements and flexes, uh, you know, to a certain extent, if that makes sense. So this hand also has a, a wrist rotator. It's all powered. It rotates. All right. And how I move that is with the same two muscles. So looking down at the hand from my point of view, you would flex the open signal electrode and you would, you would give that a very firm, fast muscle flex and that'll rotate the wrist this way. Now, if I flex that same muscle, as I was saying before, uh, to open the hand, you would flex it very lightly and more slowly. And all of these uh, muscle inputs and the strengths and the speeds are all set up uh, wirelessly on a black on a on a laptop at the prosthetics office. All right, and basically once you have everything dialed in, you don't have to really touch it anymore. So this is the black glove, like I said. All right, this glove which some of the other gloves that they offer don't have uh, the ribbing on the on the fingertips. See all the ribs? It's hard to show on the laptop. So you can see these ribbings and on the thumb down here. Really gives a lot of extra grip. Whereas, I'll show you a different hand. I have a second Michelangelo hand here. And you can see the different, different colors.
this is more of a realistic skin, obviously, but this one does not have any ribbing on the fingertips, which does make a difference, but it's not that big of a deal. Alright, that's pretty much it. I, uh, what I do for a living is always outdoor work, it's strenuous work. I operate backhoes and uh, heavy equipment at work. Um, a lot of hand tools, mechanic tools, and things of that sort. So I'd like to do videos in the future just showing what these hands are capable of, how I use them, and sort of help educate and inspire other amputees. And uh, that's pretty much it. If anybody has any questions, don't hesitate to ask. This is my first real video, so bear with me. It's hard to it's hard to think about what to say, and you know, we'll just see how it goes. I'm going to edit it. I'm going to edit in a couple of my other videos that I have from Instagram. I have an Instagram account. It's uh, my electric outdoors as well. So if you're not on there, maybe you want to follow that and get a better idea of what I do. And hopefully we'll see you around. All right. Thanks.